Cool, cool, cool. All right, so this is number one on trending for music. <laughs> RM Wildflower with uh, Eugene. Uh, Eugene, uh, the official music video. All right. I think, is this the only music video? I think this might be the only music video. All right, let's check it out. Here we go. Almost sounded like guns. What's he trying to say here? Must be you, you, Eugene. Holy shit! Uh, uh this isn't gonna. Is it gonna show up on camera? There's literal goosebumps going down my spine. I'm covered in goosebumps. Oh, we've got a lot to unpack here. Okay, let me just. I'm just gonna enjoy this. I don't want to break anything up. Let me take us back. Holy shit! What a what a vocal talent. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, we gotta listen to this. We're gonna spend a little bit of time in this song. I got a lot to unpack here, and we're one minute into this. Holy shit, this is good. The orchestrations are so good, too. Fuck, this is his best song. Oh my god. Tell 
언젠가나 되돌아가래 I can't. Holy shit. I'm kind of speechless. I am kind of speechless. I have I've so many things that I want to say all at once. This song. Oh my God, dude. What the fuck? This is perfect. This is absolutely perfect from start to finish. It's bittersweet. Oh, but dude, I is everybody okay? Is everybody okay out there? You guys have been listening to this for two days now. Is everybody okay? Does anybody need a hug? What the f RM outdid himself. I would I wish I could hug all you guys okay? Give me a hug. Jesus Christ, man. What the f RM outdid himself. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. And e Eugene, is that how you say her name? Who is this lady? I I literally still have goosebumps all over my oh, I don't even know how to respond to something like this. I don't even know how to respond to this. It's pure, it's beautiful. The orchestrations are absolutely perfect. Arm's voice is awesome. Eugene kills it. She tapped into something primal. Oh my god. And then the message of this song. Holy sh Dude, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. But at the end of it all, like, you can't help but like like be happy for RM about, about what he's at and where he's at and what he what he wants and the acceptance he's come to. This is a work of art right here. This is his masterpiece. Well, again, we gotta listen to it again. The, the, I'm gonna be on this for a little while. There's a lot to unpack with this. All right, starting over the clouds. I almost thought it was gunfire at first. It kind of almost sounded like that. Getting this cool aerial shot. This video is stunning too. It's interesting too. It just kind of drops you right in the mix. There's no, there's no intro really besides like the fireworks sounds and which the sound effects kind of take you a little out of the immersion, but. I, no, I guess it's cool for the video, but it just drops you right into it. You just slide right into it. It's just like all of a sudden you're just there. So yeah, like this right here, I wasn't quite sure what that meant, but by the end of the song, I, I kind of get it. Like with yet to come, like, you know, this is kind of giving me like yet to come kind of vibes. You know, they're, they're like, we ain't about it, you know, and they're talking about like the big shows and all that stuff like that. He's talking about where he's at. It's, it almost feels like it's an extension extension of the phrasing from that, not melodically or, or tonally or anything like that, but like message wise. And that makes me happy for him. That makes me happy for him. He wants to be in a flower field, an open, an open land, you know, being out in the open. Like a lot of the subjects we talked about, like lonely and other things in this album and stuff, like he's kind of locked away a lot of the time. He can't enjoy life like the rest of us. But right now, this is just what he's all about. This is, is He's almost excited to start this chapter in his life of just like enjoying the open space. And I can't help but feel happy for him. I can't help but like be, be happy for the guy. But again, it's, it's also kind of bittersweet. Oh my god, okay, this is... <laughs> so it starts off kind of positive. 
It's warm, tones are awesome, the orchestration is starting to build. The acoustic electric guitar, again, which might be a 12 string electric acoustic, kind of really low in the mix there, kind of giving us like that almost indie, uh, artsy type of feel. Yeah, he's talking about it here when your heart underestimates you and your dreams devour you. It's like, again, like he's talking about like, like, what am I going for? Why am I even putting myself out there? What dream was I chasing and how has it led me here and was it worth it all along? Like, that's where it gets kind of like a little bit on the somber side, even though we have like pleasant tones and like a beautiful, like uplifting orchestration. And then the vocal tones behind this as well. Uh, awesome, awesome layering job. Creates a beautiful, beautiful soundscape. Yep. Okay, I want to take that back here a little bit. This is actually a really cool and kind of intense scene. He's talking about like yearning for success and just like basically reaching for that flame and everything and I don't know, everything else has been kind of action packed so far in the first 45 seconds of this, but like this kind of like a still shot of just RM, like almost looking like he's at peace, especially with like with this verse. <laughs> Yeah, when the fame turns into shackles. Like he's begging, he's literally reaching out. <laughs> Please, take my desire away from me. Look what it's done to me. Oh my God, he's like, he's tapping into his inner dialogue and just sharing it with us. He's begging to, for people to, to let him be who he is. Let him be himself. Let him not get lost to this. Let him not like get in that algorithm feedback loop thing where it's like you you lose yourself. And even having those thoughts, is it persistent pain or, or a criminal mind? I think that's where he was kind of going with that. <laughs> Okay, and that's it. It's not only how Eugene is is singing here. All right, it's not just like that desperate tone. It's not just like the the intensity and like the the longing in her voice, which is absolutely beautiful and perfect for this. By the way, uh, it's exactly what she's saying um, that, that that makes all the difference in the world here. All right, yeah, it's a hell of a hook on its own. But when you listen to the words that she's talking about about gonna shine and just kind of like spread across the sky and kind of like fade out and, and just kind of like shine into like a million little pieces and just kind of let it be what it's going to be. I know where he was going with that. I know what he was going to do it. He was going to go with that again. He's all about these open spaces and these flower fields and, and being at peace with himself right now. And he's just going to let everything just sparkle and shine across the sky like a, like a, like a firework or a flower work or something. It's not just, it's not just a good hook. It's like a deeply personal, uh, bittersweet thing. Flower, flower and then you think of his body of work, like just spread across the... Uh, I 
think he wants that. I think he wants that. I think he wants to slip into the regular life. He doesn't want to be a hero. He doesn't want to be a villain. He doesn't want to be anything. He just wants to... He just wants to contribute like us. He just wants to be a part of it all. Not something like a, a painting or a statue or whatever to look at and be like, hey, this is just me. I'm just going to let my art fly across and I'm just going to contribute with life with everybody else and not just do this thing. The exhausting nature of it all. Oh my God. This is so... Uh, he, he's, it's like he's just letting us into his psyche. This is, this is exactly... Uh, I'm at a loss for words. Give me those warm strings. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's almost like he, yeah, you know, someone said in a different song like he was talking to himself, like it was Namjoon talking to RM. This is it. This is him asking it there. He's asking, I'm, I'm reaching for this flame. I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. And now it's just a memory and you don't know why you shackled yourself in this kind of way. This is so weird because this makes me sad and incredibly happy at the same time. This is an odd feeling. I'm not sure if I've ever had this feeling before. I love this shot. That's like him. That's his art. That's his art. And that's scattering across the sky. And it's like he's he's almost like embracing it. He's like, just let it. Just let it go. Like a peaceful shot of him just enjoying a field full of flowers. I think they're indigo color too. Okay. Uh all right. Um this this is our RM outdid himself with this one. He a hundred percent just outdid himself with this. This song it made me feel it's odd. It's so odd that the emotion you get from a song like this. I don't think I, I this song made me feel something I don't think I've ever felt before ever. And for an artist to be able to do that. It, uh, 
this is so beautiful. How could he be? How could he be so happy and so like sad at the same time? It's the strangest fucking thing, dude. RM tapped into something primal here, man. This is a work of art. This is a genius song. This is pure poetry. This is incredibly endearing. And this is so honest and so real. This is perfect. This is perfect. I, 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 just, I literally, I don't even. I wish I had better adjectives to describe how perfect this is. I, I really do. That That is something special right there. That's 100% my favorite song on this album. That might be one of my favorite. That might be one of my favorite BTS songs. Did RM just become my new bias? <laughs> Am I now an RM guy? I, I'm, I'm just in awe. I'm in shock and I'm in awe. He really outdid himself. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's the, it's the perfect everything. It's everything is perfect. Everything is just so perfect and in its place. Yeah, I, I think I might be che cheating. Okay, let's let's see what uh let's see what RM is gonna say about this. I literally still have goosebumps. There's little there's there's still goosebumps in my arm. Okay. 지나왔던 그 장면들을 막 떠올리면서 그냥 조금 덤덤하게 이야기해 보려고 했습니다. 9번 이제 들꽃놀이 타이틀이죠 타이틀. 들꽃놀이라는 말을 2016년부터 생각하고 있었어요. 불꽃놀이랑 들꽃놀이라는 말이 라이밍이 되면서 그게 재밌다고 생각을 했고, 했고 영어로 하면 fireworks랑 flowerworks거든요. 내 생각에 BTS는 불꽃이다. 불꽃놀이 같은 거다. 근데 RM은 들꽃 같은 사람인 것 같다. 나는 그냥 들에서 이렇게 있는 들꽃? 들판에 누워 있는 그런 들꽃놀이 같은 사람이고 싶다. 어, 이제 닥스킴이라는 닥스킴 형이 저의 아웃트로 티어 같은 것도 써주고 지민이 라이 써주고 그랬던 형이거든요. 그래서 Oh no. No wonder. No wonder he's bringing out the heavy hitters. <laughs> okay. All right. And he told me what he wanted to do with uh, Wildflower. That's when we started the producing. The internal struggle between uh, the fame and the success while staying true to who you are that really resonated with me. 어떤 악기든 좋으니까 시작을 해서 나에게 보내주면 우리가 같이 빌드를 해보자. 근데 그게 너무 어반한 거예요 저한테. 좀더 악기도 많이 빠졌으면 좋겠고 좀더막 이렇게 너무 이렇게 다이나믹하지 않았으면 좋겠어요. 했는데 그 다음에 온게 너무 완벽한 거예요. He smiled and said, "형." This is it. Let's go with this version. And that's what we kept working on and kept revising up to this day. 그거를 바로 녹음을 혼자서 화장실에 가서 핸드폰으로 해놓고 드디어 될것 같은 거예요. 그, 그 제가 하고 싶었던 키워드가 드디어 노래로 만들어질 것 같은 거예요. 그래서 누구랑 같이 했냐 이러면 이것도 참 특이해. 체리 필터의 이제 조유진 선생님. 그래서 사람들이 같이 작업을 했냐 그러면 와, 그분 요즘 뭐 하셔? 다 이래요. 동교동 작업실을 찾아갔어요. 마포구에. 동교동 체리 필터 작업실을 찾아가서. Yeah, she was incredible. Cherry filter? I need to investigate her. Forceful is a good word. Original style. 어쨌든 제가 생각하는 조유진 누운, 누나도 되게 불꽃놀이 같으면서 되게 들판 같기도 하고 일단 노래를 너무 잘하시잖아요. 네, 그래서 간만에 사람들이 또 되게 아 진짜 약간 그러지 않을까. 저는 되게 뭐라고 형식적인 모습만 봐왔잖아요. 
BTS라는 그룹이 활동하는 모습만 봤어서 지금 RMC가 갖고 있는 굉장히 진솔한 고민 그대로를 쓰셨더라고요. This is the hardest I ever worked on in a song in my life. My biggest key point was just to um, try and keep that promise to Namjoon. I promised Namjoon that I would work my, I would give my 200%, 300%, 1,000% for him. 형이 원래 이 노래를 끝으로 원래는 프로듀싱을 그만두려고 했대요. 그만두려고 했는데 이 노래를 만들면서 그 생각을 접게 됐대요. He really <웃음> gave me hope. He gave me something. He knew he had something special. Focus on and you captured lightning in a bottle, dude. Really leveled up a lot and yep. found my passion for making music again. 누군가의 마음을 보듬어 주는 노래가 아니고 다 터트린 노래예요. 그 짐, 좌절감, 그게 섞여 있는데 악곡 자체는 굉장히 아름다워요. It can give you a good, comfortable feeling of, you know, who you once were. 이걸로 은퇴를 결심했다가 그걸 다시 번복하게 만든 노래기도 하고, 저는 이 노래를 제 모든 이제 팀과 저와 이제 그런 키워드로 연상하면서 제가 이미 2016년부터 해하고 싶었었던 노래고, 근데 역으로 이제 그래서 이 노래를 타이틀로 할 수밖에 없었어요. 너무 저한테 소중한 노래고. 지금 이 노래가 나한테 가장 중요한 이제 노래다. When you feel Me too, lost, RM. Or when you feel like I forgot who I who I was back then. I think this is a, a nice song to listen to. 지금 절망적이거나 뭔가 어딘가의 말에 마지막에 서 계신 분들이 들으시면 아마 많은 공감을 하실 수 있을 것 같아요. 예. 마지막. 네, 마지막인데. 어. Oh. RM wrote the perfect song, and he had it in his back pocket since 2016. This, in my opinion, this is RM's masterpiece right here. I saw a couple of you guys say Wildflower is your favorite song, but uh, this is, no, this is something else. And I, I have to check out this Eugene lady and check out more of her work. Um, I love her voice. I love her texture. Uh, I love the forcefulness of this song. And, and, you know, yeah, they were talking a lot about burden and frustrations a lot in this song. But honestly, like I said, to me, there's something that makes me so happy about this song. And that's the peace that Arm has seemed to have come to from, you know, all of this. The peace he has with himself right now. I'm really getting that vibe. Like, yeah, it makes it, it there's, there's a certain desperation about it that can make people feel uneasy. But at the end of the day, like, he's in a good place. That, that's the feeling I get. Cherry Filter's most famous song is Alley Cat. Uh, I'm going to have to look into that. Whew. All right, that's going to be a tough one to top. <laughs> we'll keep on moving along. All right, what's the next song?